Welcome to a 2024 overview of the Milwaukee Roads Beer Line. It's been a year since I've posted anything. Um, I went through a bit of video burnout. Um, um, got the urge now to share and show what all I've been doing. Uh, right now I'm just kind of giving you a little overview of how it fits in the room. Um, a lot of things stay the same. So I'm going to swing us back around here. We're going to head our way on over to Humboldt Yard. You can see my work area and my computer that I can use for, um, obviously, if I want to have something to watch while I work. So in Humboldt Yard, this is where all the changes have been. It used to be three tracks. We added a fourth. We built another turnout for my Fast Tracks jig. It's the number four right. Add another Lines West um, switch stand. This shed here got moved further south. <clears throat> These two shacks used to be over by the engine terminal and they got moved here. And then the freight house got moved back towards the North Avenue viaduct. The fourth track greatly adds a lot of flexibility to the yard and I think makes it more efficient to sort cars. Over here at the engine terminal, you can see the yard office is now moved down here and is up towards the street, which is a little bit more prototypical. I'm going to move the camera here a bit so you can sort of see how that all fits in there. And as some of you remember, we swing around through residential and some shops. This is all an 18 inch deep shelf. The Humboldt yard area here is around nine, nine and a half feet long. We swing across a window here. This is removable. We get over to the heart of the line. So we've got uh, Dick's halfway in here. Uh, place with Sir Schlitz. And a few other places of fun and debauchery. Yeah, that is fun. So, um, one of the signature octagonal um, crossing towers from a Wathers kit. The Schlitz spent green silo. And as you view it from the aisle, you have the Paps <coughs> grain elevator. That's my dog Leia barking. And I'm going to slide the camera in so that you can see a little bit of this. There. The Paps Grain Elevator was a scratch built structure. Come around to the other side. It's a little hard to see it. So we can kind of, you can go over here and see a little more, all the way up to the top. And down we go. That takes two grain box cars. It always backed up to the Schlitz Sea House, which is the reason it's arranged this way. There's the Sea House. Um, those are all 3D printed crates and pallets. So go down the alley, all the trash and garbage that blows down in here. Um, so the Paps elevator and the spent grain silos were scratch built. This was made from a City Classics uh, warehouse kit, actually a couple of kits. The main grain elevator, which is where the malt went for the brewing process, is also scratch built. Three Walters uh, fire escape kits down the side. So as we swing on down through, again we're staying with the 18 inch deep. Uh, a bunch of, uh, a collection of uh, all sorts of storefronts. All sorts of things going on. Hot dog stand, new stand, kid shiny guy's shoes. The pipe lane scene, they've been working on this pipe for the past 10 years, I think. That's how long I've had the layout. So, got a kind of a junk place, service station on the corner. See 
stuff around the detail western electric warehouse is a building flat i think this year i'd like to put a chain link fence up on this i think that would really set it off nicely here we have the paps shipping center another scratch built structure um, paps trucked their beer from the brewery to these team tracks you can see another one of the octagonal switch uh, or crossing towers A lot of city classics or uh, classic metalworks beer trucks. We come across another window. This is also the main passing siding on the layout. You see, it comes there. You can see a little bit inside of here. I met my structures have warped a bit over the years. Uh, just kind of a general railroad structure here. Commerce Street Power. This is two Walters kits that I spliced together and then scratch built the details on the roof. The Freight House. This is a scratch built. I compressed it to half the size. You see, we swing up in. Now, since I did the last layout update, you probably didn't know, but I built the Milwaukee uh, Sentinel. Uh, news uh, print roll dock. That was an awkward mouthful. So, so as you can see, well not with the best light, you can see rolls of paper sitting on the dock. Another thing I want to do is litter the dock up and everything with uh, bits of paper and such. We still have Blatt's over here loading their product. And the Lincoln Warehouse, which marks the end of the line. So again, this is an 18 inch shelf. This is around seven feet. All of my stations have a cup holder. You can buy these off Amazon for like five bucks a piece. You can put, obviously, a beer bottle. You can put a you know, you put your glass of water, your cup of coffee, or sometimes a tumbler of bourbon. I have to hold my skewers that I used to uncouple with. I took a little bundle paper clip, pull that out of here, and one of these metal pieces I took and just screwed in behind the uh, throttle holder. The throttle holder is from Mike Palsgrove of Sioux Line Parts. I painted these myself. Coming back around. So this is just a few feet right here. Going down this wall, we're 11 feet. And about, I'm not sure, I think it's about nine feet across. The layout I do know is around 47 feet end to end. So that basically means if you connected the end, you could fit it inside a 12 by 12 room. And that's, um, you know, that's not a huge layout. And I'd like to think for the past 10 years that this layout has been a lot of fun. I've definitely gotten my money's worth out of it. So but anyways, that's the quick tour of the layout. Those who are new, this is what it all looks like. And those of you view that have been with my channel for a while, yeah, not a whole lot has changed, but yeah, it's still here. So anyways, uh, look for some running operating videos, rail fanning videos, and I'll to get some fresh content up. So anyways, thank you very much for joining in and uh, we'll see you next time.